Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Shadow Marie. Today I'm back with yet another book haul video. I know I literally just posted one for December, literally like a week ago, but that was super delayed and now it is February, which means it's time for me to share yet another book haul video for the month of January. So let's just get right into it. So this past month, I probably have received the most amount of books I've ever received for the past book haul videos. I want to say I have 50 plus books, possibly even 60. I did a quick count. Once I got to 50, I like stopped counting and I was like, I think I'm done. So I know for a fact I have over 50, possibly 60 books. So for the sake of time, in terms of me filming, me editing, and you guys watching, I'm not going to go too much into detail for every single book, otherwise we're going to be here forever. So I'm going to talk very quickly about all the books that I received and which is go from there. Anyways, the first book that I ever got this past month was actually from a book box. So this book box, I decided to cancel it because this book was supposed to arrive end of November, never showed up. It was being super delayed. There was no communication from the, um, the book box owner, etc. And a lot of people had to keep hassling her in terms of like, when is it coming out? Like, where are the updates, etc. And I didn't receive this book until I came back from the holidays, which means it was sometime in January. So literally was a month and a half delayed. Like that's how delayed this box was. So I ended up canceling it because I was like, I cannot deal with this delay anymore because it's not the first time, by the way. Like it's been like month after month, there has been some sort of delay, but this was the first time where it got delayed more than like two weeks. So anyways, the first book, long babble there. I know I literally just said, try to keep it short, but anyways, that was a lot of inks on my end because I was super frustrated. Anyways, the first book that I got from that book box is Skyward by Brendan Sanderson. Honestly, I am so psyched for this book. I have heard so many good things about this book already and I'm just really psyched to pick this up soon. Also, this is like a very chunky book as well, but this is a YA sci-fi book. So all I know about this book is that this book takes place in space about this girl. I want to say she went to some sort of academy or cadet, so like a space cadet kind of thing. But the thing is her father, like she, something happened to her father and now she's deemed as a coward so something that her father did must have been like terrible because no one really trusts her or something like that and this talks about like her adventure etc very vague i know but i don't like to go into this type of book with knowing too much about it so that's all i know about this but i brenda sanderson so pretty excited for this one then the next book that i got in the mail was this splinter silence by kayla olsen this was unsolicited i don't know where i got this book from so i really don't know anything about this book other than the fact that it's a sci-fi something to do with space again and it's about this girl who i I believe she something happened to her mother's generation where they're all like wiped out by this deadly virus and then they're supposed to be safe at this point but something happens and I guess this virus is supposed to like pop up again and they find that it's actually been mutated so people are dying etc and now she's trying to save the spaceship from you know extinction that's kind of what this book is about could be kind of vague there but I'm pretty excited for it so we'll see how this goes then the next few books that I got are actually from book outlet which at this point you guys should probably know Probably my favorite website to shop on for books. But anyways, the first book that I got from them is Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. Honestly, I just really wanted this book because this book looks super, super cute. All I know about this book is as a YA contemporary, it follows two people. They don't like each other, but they somehow end up being stranded in a wilderness together alone. So, kind of talks about that, and I'm pretty excited. There's going to be romance, so I am all up for that gushiness, mushiness, love feel good kind of book. The next book that I got is A Black Moon by Romina Russell. This is book three of the Zodiac series, which at this point, I should probably know that I'm just trying to collect it. So basically every single month I've gotten one book from the series, which I'm pretty happy about. But I'm not going to go into it because this is book three, but something to do with being forced to live in different like places based on your Zodiac sign. And that sounds really intriguing to me. So really excited about this one. The next book that I got is When Dimple Met Rishi by Sonia Menon. So this book, actually, when I first came out, I didn't really, I wasn't that interested in it. But that's because at that point, I wasn't really interested in contemporary books, I think. So I was mostly reading like a lot of fantasy and sci-fi and I didn't care much for contemporaries pretty much at all. But then recently, I started to pick up more contemporaries and I've heard really, really good things about this book. So I was like well I should probably pick this up soon. So this book follows two Indian teenagers when after they end up at the same summer program their parents end up deciding for them to kind of like an arranged marriage and this talks about that and I'm kind of excited to see from that kind of point of view so really really intrigued by this book. All right then the next book that I got is Dividing Eden by Joelle Charbonneau. Charbonneau? Might be pronouncing that name wrong. So the first thing that grabbed me about this book is the cover. The cover I really really like the whole black and white color scheme looks really really pretty to me. So this book pretty much follows a trend that's going on right now where siblings are basically vying for the throne and you know fighting over against one another and it's all about 
that essentially follows two twins who, after their parents and their brother is assassinated, they end up basically going against each other to see who basically will become the ruler and the king of Eden. So really excited for it. I mean, I'm all about that trope, so really excited for that. The next book that I got is Paper and Fire by Rachel Kane. This one is book two of the Great Library series. This is another series that I'm pretty much just trying to collect slowly. And this is all about the Great Library of Alexandria, which I'm so pumped for, so really excited for this. The next book that I got is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. So for the longest time, this is totally on me, but I got confused between The Lovely Bones versus The Bone Season. So every time I saw this book, I was like, oh, I already, I know the story, I watched the movie, etc. Then I realized that they're completely different stuff and I was an idiot so anyways <laughs> I'm really excited for this book this is another series that I have been collecting I think later on in this video if I'm not mistaken there should be books two three and possibly more of the series that I got but I got that later packages so anyways this is a dystopian fantasy novel which I'm so pumped for so this book is all about the fact that clairvoyance is now deemed as a criminal offense and anyone who does anything related to that is basically punished and the story just basically follows Paige who's a dream worker and there's like this underworld society going on and she becomes involved etc and honestly I'm really excited about this book so the next book that I got is Poison's Kiss by Brianna Shield this book honestly the premise sounded so interesting to me. It's about this girl who basically has been trained with poison all her lives. She can basically kill someone with just a touch of her lips. And then of course, what happens if she finds a boy that she wants to kiss. So I'm like so intrigued by this book, so I'm really excited for this one. The next book that I got is The Evolution of Mara Dyer. This is book two of the Mara Dyer trilogy by Michelle Hodkin. I'm not gonna talk about this too much because again, this is book two of a series and I don't like to spoil anything, but the first book just talks about this girl who wakes up, doesn't remember anything that happened, but all she knows is that all her friends who were in that accident had died and now she's wondering if she's going crazy etc and this book sounds really good. Then the next book that I got is Song of the Current by Sarah Talsher. Talser? Hoping I pronounced that last name correctly. This book is about a girl who I guess her family has been called by the river god for many generations. I guess the river god blesses them on all their journeys through the river etc. But the thing is she's at this point now at 17 where I guess the river god has not called on her and so she takes matters into her own hand and this book just kind of follows the aftermath of that and honestly I like the idea of having a family basically being bound by a river god for generations and generations and that just sounds really appealing to me so very excited for this one. The next book that I got is These Things I've Done by Rebecca Phillips. Honestly this book sounds really like emotional and I'm really excited for that. It's about these two girls, they're best friends, they're inseparable and then one day her best friend dies and now I believe it is Dara who is the one who's left alive and now she's racked with guilt about surviving etc. And I guess this book just talks about how she's trying to get over the fact that she played a role in her best friend's death. And not only that but then there is her best friend's brother and she keeps seeing him and she's starting to realize that she's having feelings for him and so she's afraid and worried that she's going to betray her best friend one last time and honestly this book just sounds very emotional and I am so excited for that. The next book that I got is from Amazon which is a book that I'm so so pumped for because honestly this book just sounds absolutely fascinating to me and beautiful, mesmerizing, etc. And this book is called A Winter's Promise by Christelle Dabos. Dabos. I hope I pronounced that name correctly, but this book is all about the fact that there are these arcs of like celestial towers floating in the sky and I guess each arc is very different in terms of their culture, in terms of their beliefs. They're basically different countries and they don't have, they all have very, very different like magic systems as well, I believe, because this girl, her ability at her arc, she can move between mirrors. And then one day she ends up getting this like marriage proposal or she becomes married to someone else from a different arc and she goes there and it's like a whole different world. And honestly, this premise, this story just sounds absolutely beautiful and I've heard amazing things about this book so I'm really excited for it. Also, this was originally translated from French which usually means it should be pretty good because, you know, I like books that are international and also I feel like when books are translated from a different country, different language, usually the books are pretty pretty good. The next book that I got is Wonder Woman Warbringer by Leigh Bardugo. I'm so excited for this book. I actually just met her recently for the King of Scars launch event in New York City and honestly, I love her so much. She is such a riot. Her personality, her attitude, her charisma is just really really appealing and I am such a big fan of her now in terms of all her books. Now I'm just like, I need to read all of them because I haven't actually read all the books yet. So 
Anyways, this is a book that I have not read, so I got it this past month, and I'm really excited to pick this one up. This one obviously follows Wonder Woman and her story, and I'm just really excited for that. So the next few books I got are from Barnes & Noble. Actually, Wonder Woman I got from Barnes & Noble as well. Next one, though, is Malice by John Gwynn. This one, okay, so I'm back to my whole fantasy chunky books because this is basically that in a nutshell. I've just seen this book many times on a lot of other booktubers in terms of people who really enjoy fantasy, like high fantasy novels, and so I was like, you know what? I trust their opinions, so I decided to pick up this one. And this book, all I know is that there is like a war between humans and giants, and honestly, I don't really read that many books about giants these days, so I'm really excited to see what this book has in store for me. The next book that I got is Navigating the Stars by Maria V. Snyder. Honestly, I got this book because it's by Maria V. Snyder, and she is a must-buy in terms of books these days for me, so I was really excited for that. Also, the premise sounded really interesting. It's about this girl and her parents. Somehow they found a terracotta, or I don't know if they found it, or if like the government found it, or like someone found it, but basically there has been a discovery of terracotta warriors all over the galaxy. And now her and her parents are trying to go after them. They're, her parents are archaeologists, so they're trying to go and see you know, like, why were they put there, who put them there, etc. And there's all these unanswered questions. Honestly, this book sounds amazing, and I'm really excited to see kind of like a terracotta warrior kind of situation going on. And it basically says over here, Sentinels of the Galaxy. So, really excited for this one. The next book that I got from Barnes & Noble is Everless by Sarah Holland. Honestly, this book just seemed really interesting to me because the premise sounded kind of really similar to this movie. I don't really remember the movie, what it's called again. I want to say it's In Time, but I'll put an image here once I figure that out. But the book sounded really similar to that film, so I'm really curious to see how it kind of differs. But basically, this book is all about the fact that time is money, and I guess if you're rich, the more time you have to live. And if you're poor, obviously, you have less time to live. So I'm just really excited to see where this book will take me. The next book that I picked up is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This is a book that I have seen everywhere and heard everywhere on BookTube, especially when I saw a lot of videos with their best books of 2018. A lot of people had this book on there and honestly this book sounded really interesting to me. It's like a murder mystery. It's about this like cold case that was happened way back when in the early 20th century and years later this girl Stevie Bell goes to school at this academy and she's basically trying to solve this cold case. And this book is basically the first book of a murder mystery trilogy which I am so pumped for so really excited for this. Also the book too just came out recently so really excited for that as well. The next book that I have is one that I got from a secret Santa. This was the last book that I got from all my secret Santa and that is Force of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow. This one is basically a Snow White retelling that is told by the perspective of the Wicked Queen but that's set in Imperial China, which, I mean, sounds amazing already, so I'm really, really excited for this one. Also, book two came out recently, so I definitely want to pick up this one so I can jump into book two. Then the next book that I got is from a giveaway that I won, and that is Fire and Heist by Sarah Beth Durst. Honestly, this book just screamed at me because of dragons, hello. So basically, this book has a heist going on, and there's a fact that there are these warns, which... Warns? 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 I have no idea how to pronounce that word. I'll put it here. But basically, when we think of that, we think of like just regular dragons, possibly smaller in size, etc. But in this case, it's actually humans who can transform into dragons, which is such an amazing concept to me. So I'm really excited to see where this book will take me and we'll go from there. The next few books that I got are from Book Outlet. This first one that I got is Want by Cindy Pond. I am so excited for this book, but for whatever reason, I haven't actually seen this book that often in the bookish community. I don't know if it's because... I don't even know why, because this came out recently. I want to say this came out back in 2018, so literally just the past year, so... I haven't seen it often, but regardless, I'm very excited for this one. So the main reason why I'm excited for this book is because it's actually set in a futuristic Taipei, which I'm so excited for. I love Taipei so much, it's actually where my parents are from, so I'm really excited for that. But anyways, this book is set in the future, which at this point in time, there's some sort of pollution in the air, and everyone is basically forced to wear these suits, except that these suits are super expensive. Basically, the uber wealthy are the ones who can survive going outside etc but the thing is jason the main character believes that it's the wealthy who are actually manufacturing this pollution in the air to basically make these suits necessary so it's like a it's like a one of those um unending cycle where they basically cause a problem and then they create the solution so people need both right i mean that's kind of how it works so anyways i'm really excited for this book i'm really curious to see where this book goes and I'm curious to see why that and that opinion people have talked about this book, so yeah. The next book that I got is Little Monsters by Kara Thomas. This is another book where I have seen many times in best books of 2018 videos on the booktube world, so 
I feel like this book would be pretty good. This is a YA thriller, and apparently a lot of people have agreed that the thriller aspect of this is done really, really well, so I'm really, really intrigued to find out and see for myself why it's so good. The next book that I got is All the Ever Afters by Danielle Teller. This one is another one where I saw it on booktube and I was like, this sounds really, really interesting, and then I also found out that this is actually a reimagining of Cinderella's stepmother, so I'm like, basically it's like a retelling of a fairy tale that I really, really enjoy, so I was like, yes. The next two books I got were, you know, books two and book three of The Bone Season, The Mime Order, and The Song is Rising, which I'm very excited for. I'm not going to talk about these two books. This is literally books two and books three of The Bone Season, and I already talked about the first one, so... The next two books I got are part of a series. The first one is Ivory and Bone, and the second one is Obsidian and Stars by Julie Eshbog. And honestly, I'm so excited for these two books. It's considered a historical fiction, and it says here that it's set during the Great Ice, which I'm assuming means the Ice Age. And it has, like, two clans, and they're basically just trying to survive, and only one clan out of the two can actually survive in this period of time. So, we're really curious to see where this book takes me. If I'm correct, and it's actually set during the Ice Age that we know, I'm really curious about this because I actually have not read any books that's set during that time period. So, anyways, this book sounds really interesting to me, so i really excited for this one. The next book that I got is Lord Brocktree by Brian Jacks. This is part of the Redwall series. So I got the Redwall the other time, like a month ago, and I got this book because if I want to read in chronological order, this is the first book that I go by. If I want to read in, in the times of when it was written, then Redwall is the first book. So I decided to pick up this one because I wasn't sure how I wanted to start the series. So... I just like go for both of them. So again, this is like a fantasy world. It's set where a bunch of like talking animals, like woodland animals usually, like badgers, mice, rats, otters, etc. And there's a bunch of like fantasy and like wars and everything involved. And honestly, I love this series growing up. So I'm really excited to kind of reread the entire series now that I'm older and see if I still enjoy it as much as I did back then. The next book that I got is The Last of August by Brittany Cavallero. This is book two of the Sherlock Holmes novel. This is basically a reimagined version, like a gender bender version of Sherlock Holmes, but in this case it's Sherlock Holmes and honestly I'm just really excited to see where this next book will take me and I've heard really great things about the series in general so I'm really excited for it. The next two books that I got are again part of a series. The first one is Julia Vanishes, and the second one is Julia Defiant by Catherine Egan. So basically this is a fantasy mystery novel of a girl called Julia who can literally turn invisible. But the thing is, any sort of witchcraft at her where she lives right now in a day and time of age is basically punishable by death. Her mother was actually killed due to witchcraft, and so she needs to really hide the fact that she has witchcraft. And the thing is, despite that, she actually makes an excellent spy. So there is a mystery element to it, which I'm really excited for. The next few books that I got are from Barnes & Noble. The first two that I got are perfect series. The first one is The Stone Sky. The second one is Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemisin. This is books two and book three of the series, the trilogy. I got book one a while ago, and honestly, I decided to just collect the whole thing, because originally I think my plan was to read the first one and then decide if I like it or not before purchasing books two and book three. But the thing is, they were on sale. There was like $10, and then there was like a 20% off coupon or something, so I was like, well, I think, you know, the signs are pointing me to purchase these books. So anyways, I decided to get books two and books three and just finish the entire trilogy. But I'm not going to talk about these two books because, again, this is books two and book three of a trilogy, and I don't want to spoil anything, but honestly, I'm just so excited for these two books. These books, I think, especially the first one, have been raved about on booktube for the longest time ever, so I'm just really excited to dive into it myself and see if I like it or not. The next book that I got is Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky? I hope I pronounced that last name correctly. So this book I am so pumped for. It's a space opera and it basically follows the fact that the Earth is dying and the last remnants of humankind basically escape to this other planet and I guess at some point they realize that they discover this planet is actually like terraformed for perfect human life. But the thing is, new masters have overtaken that planet and they have basically made that world into like humans like worst nightmare or something like that and now these two civilizations will collide and this book is all about that and I'm just so, so excited for this book. It sounds so good. Then the next book that I got is The Black Prism by Brent Weeks. This is another book that I got because of another recommendation from Booktuber. So I, obviously, I'm in the mood for sci-fi fantasy novels these days, especially like chunky books. And I've looked online to see a lot of people who enjoy this category really, really raved about this series in general. So I decided to pick up this one, plus also the Booktuber was raving about this. It was like one of her top books of 2018 as well, or like top fantasy books of all time, something like that in her videos, which I was like... Well, if you say it like that, so... <laughs> Anyways, I'm just really excited for this one. This is an epic high fantasy novel. So this book basically follows a man called Ga, who is a prison, which literally means that he's the most powerful man in the world. And the thing is, 
I guess when you're the most powerful man, you only you know exactly how long you have left to live. So he knows that, and then he finds out that he actually has a son. So things happen and I'm just really excited to see where this book will take me. The next book that I got is from Book Depository and that is Give the Dark My Love by Beth Rebus. This is a YA fantasy novel which I have heard really good things about so I'm very excited for that. It follows a girl called Nedra and she wants to learn alchemy and at some point there's this like dark deadly plague that's traveling through the country, the nation, etc. And she's basically trying to find a cure for that plague. And of course she meets a guy called Greg and you know things happen and I'm just excited to see where this book takes me. Also I know that there's supposed to be a necromancy in here so I'm very excited for that. The next few books that I got are actually from my roommate. She got it from her publishing magazine company. The first book that I got is The Winter of the Witch by Catherine Arden. So actually when she first sent me a photo of this book I was like yes I'm excited for it because for whatever reason I thought this was book two of the series. I didn't realize it was book three. I was an idiot. And so I got it and then as soon as I got it I was like wait why does this not seem familiar? because I just saw the side of it and I don't know it just I didn't see the cover the cover would have clued me in but until I got it I didn't see the cover so I was like why does the book look different than what I imagined this cover to be and of course it's because duh it's book three and not book two so now I have to go find book two and pick that up because originally I was debating about picking up the series because the first book was really really slow I don't know if you guys saw or watched my video about that I was just not that enthused about it but then I saw that this book was here so I was like well in that case the signs are again pointing for me to read to read this book so this is book three this is the conclusion of the winter night trilogy and I'm excited for it I'll see how this goes I have the first pick up the second book though so but anyways very quick blurb in terms of what this book is about there's a Russian folklore there's magic there is love romance etc and very beautiful writing that's all I can say for this series the next book that I got from my roommate is The Silent Patient by Alex Mike Michaelides Michaelides hope I pronounced that last one correctly this sounds so fascinating to me it's a thriller novel it follows the fact that there's a woman one day her husband came back she shot him in the face and literally after that she never spoke a word and so now she's in the psychiatric ward oh and by the way prior to this whole thing her life was basically perfect so now there is a criminal psychotherapist his name is Leo and he's trying to figure out what really happened and he just finds this whole story to be fascinating and there's supposed to be a thriller involved and find out like why exactly she decided to shoot her husband like five times in the face so this book sounds amazing and it sounds very riveting and I'm really excited for it. The next book that I got from my roommate is The Paragon Hotel by Lindsay Fay. This is a historical fiction. It's set in the 1920s and this book just sounds really, really interesting to me. It sounds more of like a literary fiction more than anything and honestly I'm very intrigued by this book. So it follows a woman called Alice who arrives in Oregon with basically some illicit cash with a bullet wound etc and so somehow she ends up at this hotel called the Paragon Hotel that's actually an all-black hotel and of course everyone all its tenants are very terrified about the fact that this white woman's on this premise. So the book kind of follows along that line as well as the fact that there's a Ku Klux Klan. So it's very interesting, it looks very intense, and we'll see how this goes. The next book that I got was an unsolicited copy from the publisher, and that is This Heart of Mine by C.C. Hunter. This book, even though it was unsolicited, I actually just looked at it, and it actually looks really, really fascinating to me. It's about this girl called Leia who is heartless, meaning that she actually lives off of an artificial heart in her backpack. But then, of course, this artificial heart only gives her a few years. But then one day, a heart becomes available, and she's actually given a second chance at life. Except after that, she discovers that the donor of the heart was actually a boy who killed himself, who committed suicide. And so she's now plagued with all these like dreams and visions, etc., in terms of what really happened. But then she also realized that she might actually hold the clues to what really happened in terms of that suicide and then there's like a twin brother of the boy who committed suicide and he's also has the same kind of dreams going on and they meet up and things happen and honestly this sounds actually really fascinating to me so we'll see how this goes. The next two books that I got are from Book of the Month. The first one is No Exit by Taylor Adams. Originally I was not going to pick up this book but then I've heard so many positive things about this book that I was like I should probably pick it up. It's about the fact that a bunch of strangers, I think there's like five of them, they end up getting stuck in this like blizzard and she's essentially forced to stop at this highway stop with a bunch of strangers. I think it's like four of them, five of them, something like that. But the thing is at one point she finds out that there is a little girl locked in an animal crate and now she's wondering who the fuck did that and who it is and this book just kind of follows the story about trying to find the psychopath and the mystery etc and honestly all the reviews I've heard about this book has been amazing, so I'm really excited for this one. Then the next book that I got from Book of the Month is The Night Tiger by Yang Tzu Chu. Honestly, I love the cover of this book. And honestly, I have no idea what this book is about because it was like a it was by her and I really, really enjoyed her previous book, The Ghost Bride. Like I absolutely loved it. So as soon as I saw that she was coming up another book, I was like, 
I need to pick that up immediately because that book, The Ghost Bride, was absolutely stunning. It was written so well. I actually listened to it on audiobook, so the narrator also did a really good job in that as well. And everything about it was beautiful, it was mesmerizing. I love the concept of it. And this book, I think, will I can't I can't imagine this book letting me down in any sort of way. So I'm just really excited for it. So just quickly looking at the front flap of this book, it's set in the 1930s. It's set in colonial Malaysia. There's like an age of superstition, modern idealism, sibling rivalry, and forbidden love. So again, this book sounds eerily similar to The Ghost Bride in terms of its beautiful and kind of like a superstitious way as well. And so I am really intrigued by this one. The next few books that I got are from Book Depository. And honestly, I'm so excited for this one. This one is Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. This is basically nuns who are trained to become assassins and killers. So this book follows a girl called Nona Gray who was only eight years old when she arrived at this convent. She's accused of murder, but she was actually guilty of something far worse. And at only eight years old, she's already made a ton of powerful enemies, and now she basically has to face her demons and become a deadly assassin to survive. And honestly, all the stuff I heard about this book has been amazing. Book two already came out. Book three, is, I believe, is coming out very shortly. And I'm just so excited for this series. I mean, anything with assassins and the fact that it's nuns to boot and convents, I am like, sign me up. So very excited for this one. The next book that I got is Empress of All Seasons by Emma Cogine. This book sounds absolutely fascinating to me. It's about the fact that to marry the prince, you have to go through these rooms and they're like seasonal rooms. So each room signifies a different season. And if you pass all of it, then you can marry the prince. And the thing is, everyone's eligible to marry the prince except for yokais, which are these like dangerous monsters. But the thing is, the main girl, Murray, is hiding a dangerous secret and she's a yokai. So she's found out that she's actually executed and destroyed and honestly, I'm so excited for this book. So I was supposed to read this for the Battle of Bibliothon, but that clearly didn't happen if you didn't watch my reading vlog on that week so yeah the next book that i got is nevermore by jessica townsend honestly this is a book that originally i wasn't going to get because i don't really like middle grade that much but everyone literally everyone who has read this book has raved about it i don't think i've ever seen or i have seen any negative reviews about this book at all so when i saw the book depository for at a very good discount i was like well so this book is basically about a girl called Morgan Crow, who is destined to die at the age of 11. But then she gets whisked off into the secret city of Nevermore. And it kind of goes about that. There's like magic involved and protection and mystery. And honestly, I'm very intrigued by it. So we'll see how this goes. Then the next book that I got is the last book that I got from Book Depository. And that is Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. This was recommended by another booktuber. She basically loves the Robin Hobb series, like all of them. So I was kind of like, well, let me pick up one of them and see if I like it or not. Because I'm curious to see how this goes. Apparently this was like, I believe there's like four trilogy. And um, one of them might be like a four book series or something like that. But they're all in the same realm of like universe, etc. And they all kind of go back to each other and they take place like 100 years later, etc, etc. And honestly, I'm kind of intrigued by that concept. So... I'm really excited for this one. This is book one of the Farseer trilogy. A lot of people say that you start from this one because this is kind of the beginning of where the whole thing ends, but I believe that there are many starting points actually to the whole series, universe, etc. So this book basically follows a bastard son called Fitz, who is despised because he is the bastard son of the king. And to be useful to the crown, he's basically trained as an assassin, except that his tutor is basically determined to kill him. So really intrigued by how this book will play out. The next book that I got is Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvelle. I hope I pronounced that last name correctly. This is book one of the themes files. I got book two a while ago because I'm on sale and I finally found this one on sale so I was really excited to snatch this one up. Basically it follows a girl called Rose who was riding her bicycle one day. She's a little girl and then she basically falls to the earth into the palm of this giant hand. And now years later she's actually this highly trained physicist who basically leads the top secret team to find out the secret of this metal hand etc. And it kind of just goes from there and honestly I've heard really good things about this book so I'm really excited for it. The next few books that I got are from Barnes & Noble. The first one is Theft of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan. This is volume one of the Rivera Revelation. This is actually kind of interesting to me because Originally, this entire series was self-published by the author, but then they did so well that Orbit actually took them up and published them. And I guess what happened was that they combined a bunch of the volumes. So this originally was two books, uh, The Crown Conspiracy and Evan Partha. So two books into one, basically. So this book basically follows two men, Royce Melbourne, who is a skilled thief, and his mercenary partner, Hadrian Blackwater. And they just make a profit, carrying out dangerous missions, assignments, etc. And then one day, they end up being framed for the murder of the king, and they fall into this conspiracy plan. And honestly, this book sounds really interesting to me. 
and we'll see how this goes. The next book that I got is Sins of Empire by Brian McKellen. This is book one of the Gods of Blood and Powder trilogy, which I'm very excited for. I kind of saw this on a whim when I went to Barnes & Noble and I was like, this book sounds really fascinating to me. So I decided to just get it. So this book is basically described as a fascinating fantasy world where magic and technology come together, according to RT book reviews. So honestly, this book just sounds really interesting to me. I don't know anything about this, to be honest. This is definitely a impulse buy on my end, so let's see how this goes. So the next book that I got is Promise of Blood by Brian McKellen. This is book one of the Powder Mage trilogy. This is another impulse buy. I saw both of these trilogies and I was like, let me buy the first book of both of them because I was just curious. <laughs> so as far as I know, this book is all about like gods returning to walk the earth after the Age of Kings is now dead. So really curious to see how this goes, but I'm really excited for this one. The next two books that I bought were part of a series. The first one is A Big Ship at the Edge of the Universe. The second one is A Bad Deal for the Whole Galaxy by Alex White. This is book one, this is book two, and honestly, this is a series where when I was looking at best sci-fi of the year, like online, this was a book that pretty much everyone has been raving about, so I was really excited to see how this where this book would take me and of course because me I was like I need to get both of the books so according to the back it just really says really quickly a washed up treasure hunter a hotshot racer and a deadly secret society and they're all on the race against time to hunt down the greatest worship ever built some think the ship is lost forever some think it's been destroyed and some think it's only a legend but one thing's for certain whoever finds it will hold the fate of the universe in their hands so I'm really excited for this one. The next book that I got is Spellsinger by Sebastian de Castell. I think a lot of the books from this past last purchase, especially from Barnes Noble, were a lot of impulse buys because this was definitely one that I was sucked in by the gorgeous cover. So all I know about this book is that it's a white fantasy. It follows a guy called Kellen who's moments away from facing his first duel as a spellcaster. But the thing is, his magic is fading. So that's an issue. And so now he's facing exile, so he has to go find a way to restore his lost magic, and then he meets a woman called Farius Parfax, who basically challenges him to take a different path. And things go from there, and I'm just really excited to see where this book takes me. The next book that I got is Attachments by Rainbow Rawell. This is another book that I was eager to pick up because I've heard a lot of good things about this book, especially this one in Eleanor and Park. I feel like those two are her like best series, other than Fangirl. Actually, she has a lot of great books, I think, out there. But as I said in one of my TBR videos recently, her books, two books I read, I have very vastly different opinions on how I felt about both of them. So I'm curious to see where this book will take me. It's about these two girls. They're in the company. They're exchanging emails, etc., etc., And they know that someone is monitoring their work email. And this someone is Lincoln O'Neill because that's his job. He's like an internet security officer. And somehow when he's monitoring their emails, he ends up falling in love with one of the women. And this book's all about that very intrigued to see where this book takes me and this book is actually really thin I, it's a lot thinner than I expected so anyways excited for this one the next book that I picked up from Barnes & Noble is The Last Wish by Andrzej Sapkowski this is a Polish series which I'm really excited for apparently this is a series that basically inspired the Witcher video game so I'm excited to learn more about this book so this book I think the series is a little bit confusing because a lot of people say online at least this is technically the first book. It's like the prequel to the first book, but the first book is actually like book three in a way. And I don't know, the conf the, the ordering of this series is a little bit confusing, but I said to pick up the first one because it seems that most people agree that this one takes place prior to the actual story. And it seems to be just a bunch of like short stories that, you know, later, you will find out later in terms of what actually happens in the rest of the books. So this book is about a guy called Geralt. He's a witcher and his sole purpose is to destroy the monsters in the world. But the thing is, not every monstrous thing is evil and not everything fair is good. So, this book sounds intriguing to me. I'm excited to see where this book takes me. I mean, like I said in a previous, about a previous book, when books are translated from a different country, for example, they're usually really, really good for them to become translated in the beginning. So, with that in mind, I have high hopes for this one. The next book that I got is from the publisher. This was actually requested by me and I was very excited to pick it up. And that is Blood Lead by Crystal Smith. This book comes out on March 5th, so I definitely want to get picked this up sooner rather than later. And this book just sounds absolutely fascinating to me. It's about a girl called Princess Aurelia who is a prisoner to her crown and the heir that nobody wants. And I guess she's banned from using her blood magic for whatever reason. And she decides to escape her country after this assassination attempt. And to escape her faith, she basically disguises herself to become a commoner in this new land and discover a happiness that she has never known. So this book has a lot of political fantasy, a lot of like heady magic, romance, etc. And I'm just really excited about this book. There's a quote back here from a bookseller that says, This book got under my skin and poked at my soul. So that sounds very intriguing. So I'm very excited for this one. Also, this cover looks absolutely gorgeous. 
The next book that I got from the publisher is Re Rule the Night by Clara Eliza Bartlett. I'm very excited for this one. This one comes out in April 2019 and it's about these two girls who use forbidden magic to basically save their country. And this is also a debut novel which I'm very excited about so very excited to pick this one up soon. The next book that I got is also from a publisher that I requested and that is The Seven or Eight Deaths of Stella Fortuna by Juliet Grams. This one comes out in May 2019 and this one just sounds very quintessential in terms of the premise. It's technically an American immigrant story and it's a tale of family transgression as ancient and twisted as the olive branch that could heal them. So this sounds really really good and I'm just very intrigued by this because I do want to pick up more of these type of books in the future so really excited for this one. Alright second to last book finally thank god. I'm pretty sure I have like 60 books here. But the next book that I got is The Antidote by Shelley Sackier. This one I got from the publisher. I did not request this one though. This one came unsolicited. So this book sounds really interesting to me. There is only healers but no magic. So I guess at this point in time there's such a bunch of remedies that's been passed down from apprentice to apprentice but there's no magic involved even though there is magic in this world. So the main girl Fee knows that she needs to keep her magic a secret but then her best friend becomes ill and I guess the remedies do not work and so she's basically very tempted to use her magic to save her best friend. But the thing is using magic will cause all these things to happen and now she kind of goes into the like spiral and I'm just curious to see where this book will take me and very excited by it. The last and final book is the one that I'm most excited. It pretty much is the number one book that I'm most excited about the entire month because that is King of Scars by Leigh Bardugo. I went to her signing and I'm so excited. They personalized it for me and I'm so excited. Honestly, I'm just so impressed with her, by the way. Like everything that she's done, everything that she has faced, her writing, her books, etc. Just I'm so impressed with her. Like I'm in awe of her. So, anyways, I'm just excited for this one. This one follows Nikolai and I'm excited to go back to the world. I just finished the entire Grisha Verse trilogy last weekend. Last weekend? Yeah, last weekend. And while I didn't love it as much as I listed of Scrolls, because you can definitely tell that her writing has matured as her books continued, but I still really enjoyed it. I still really like Nikolai and Malos are my favorite characters, so I'm really excited to see more of Nikolai in this book as well as some of the other characters like Zoya and Genya and David, etc. and see where that takes me as well. And honestly, Oh, and Nina's in here too, so from Six of Crows. So I'm just really excited for this book. Can't wait to dive right in. But anyways, this is the last book that I got and I'm just so excited for it. So that's it. Those are all the books I received this past month. I know it was a shit ton of books because I am still filming and it's like two and a half hours later, so... Anyways, I do want to announce a giveaway though for international giveaway. This is actually to celebrate the fact that I got 500 subscribers, which at this point I already have more than 600, so... This is to celebrate that, I guess. But this is a giveaway that's open internationally. Rules are very simple. It ends February 28th. Uh, it's open internationally as long as Book Depository ships to you. And it's up to $20 of a book of your choice. So as long as it's $20 US dollars, then that's fine. So it's pre-order, backlisted, whatever, whatever. Copy, whatever format, doesn't really matter as long as it's $20, within $20. So that's basically it. I will put the link to the raffle copter here so you guys can go and enter. And that's very basic, very simple. And yeah, that's the giveaway. So anyway, let me know in the comments below. If you had read any of the books that I picked up this past month, if you enjoyed any of them, if you didn't like any of them, let me know down below. Which books that you want to pick up that I have picked up this past month, let me know down below as well. But as always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!